Grade 4 Math, number 44b, Word Problems Involving Long Division. Sometimes when trying to solve a word problem that contains a long division problem, we may have a remainder. And take a look at this one. Tala has 31 jelly beans she wanted to put into bags containing five each. So how many bags of five can she make? Well, we do a small long division problem, and we put the 31 in as the dividend and the five as the divisor. How many times can five go into 31? Well, 5 times 6 is 30, so we put our 6 above the 1, because we're going into the 31, not 3. See? So the answer goes up there, and we subtract the 30, that is 5 times 6, and we get 1 left over. So that's 6 bags, but there's 1 jelly bean left. Okay, Emma is going to a carnival. She has $119, and each ride costs $3. So how many rides can she go on? So the 119 is going to be the dividend. The $3 for each ride is going to be the divisor. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 1? See, we're just doing the 1. None. So we don't put an answer above it. How many times can it go into 11? Well, 3 times 3 is 9, so we can do that. We put the 3 above the this 1 in the 1's place right here. It's really the 10's place, but right now it's the 1's place, isn't it? And 3 times 3 is 9. We do our subtraction, and we get this 2 down here. Now it's this 9's turn to come down. We ask ourselves, how many times can 3 fit into 29? Well, 3 times 9 is 27. So we put our 9 above here, and we do our 3 times 9, which is 27 and we subtract it from this 29, and we get 2 left over. So that means because she has a remainder of 2, she has this $2 left, she can't use it towards a ride, can she? It costs $3 for a ride. So she can go on 39 complete rides and have $2 left over. See? So if it asks you how many rides she can go on, well, the answer is 39. She's got money left over that she can't do anything with. Maybe she can buy a hot dog, right? Okay, let's look at this one. Grandpa Dave is giving away uh, money. His gran Grandpa Dave is giving his grandchildren money as a holiday gift. And he has seven grandchildren, and he has $241 to give. So how much money will each grandchild get? So the 241 is going to be our dividend. The seven grandchildren is going to be our divisor. And we ask ourselves, how many times can seven fit into two? None. So we don't put an answer above the two. How many times can seven fit into 24? Ooh, seven times three is 21. That's perfect. So we put the three above the four because we're putting the seven into 24. And we do seven times three, which is 21. We do our subtraction and we get a three down here. And now it's this one's turn to come down. So how many times can seven fit into 31? Well, 7 times 4 is 28, so we put our 4 above here, and 31 take away 28 is 3, so that means he's got $3 left over. Well, he's got 7 grandchildren, so he can hang on to that $3 and maybe put it towards another gift next year and let it save up and grow. The remainder can be written as a fraction. Did you know that? We've got 34 remainder 3. We can actually put the remainder as the numerator and this 7 divisor as the denominator. Yeah, we could do that. So to be fair and give each grandchild the same amount, they'll each get $34, won't they? And he'll have $3 remaining. See? So sometimes word problems are going to have remainders, and they'll try to trick you and say how many total days or how many complete days or how many total bags can she make and there'll be a remainder and the answer is that she can make these complete bags but have one left over see so the answer is how many complete bags okay how many rides how can he evenly distribute money so there'll be a remainder and we just set it off on the side okay all right i hope this was helpful and keep trying with long division it's going to be helpful in the future i'll see ya bye